I have a simple prayer that I say every single day. I've said it for the last five years. I don't think there's been a day that hasn't gone by that I haven't said this prayer. And it's a prayer of protection. It's a prayer of God coming in and surrounding me and, and the light coming through me. And I always say at the end of my prayer, this is your life, God, not mine. Use me for my highest good and the highest good of those around me for love and healing of the world. And I say that every day. And back four or five years ago, I would just say it because I was in a really difficult place. And I would say it because I wanted guidance. And I wanted to know that if I'm asking that I will receive guidance and I'll receive what I get. And so I just always walked in the, in the knowing that if I say for my highest good and the highest good of those around me, I had to trust what I was going through, whether I liked it or not. I was walking with my friend today and we were talking about all the ways in life that we would like to, um, we'd like to manipulate or we'd like it to go our way or we'd like it to be easier. Or we'd like it to be clear path or whatever it is that we want. Usually as a human, we want the easiest road because it's comfortable. And I'm not saying you know, to always wish for hardship, but I'm saying to be open to sometimes the highest good for yourself and the highest good for those around you isn't the easiest decision. And sometimes something's really good for me, but it might not be good for someone else around me or vice versa, or it might not help with healing the world. And I really do believe that we're all so connected that you know the, the things that we do say and think and feel affect those around us. Now that's not to say that we can't stand in our truth, but my friend and I were talking today and how some of the hardest things that we've ever had to go through or do have been the greatest learning lessons or something better opened up or the situation that was difficult actually changed once we released control or fear of losing someone, something, someplace, you know, whether it's losing a job or losing a friend or losing um, a place where you lived. And she's been through a lot of changes and so have I, and I have to keep coming back to my simple prayer that if I say every day, God, please use me for my highest good and the highest good of those around me for love and healing of the world, then I gotta trust what's presenting itself in front of me. And so this got me started on just thinking about a lot of, a lot of my friends, my clients, um, our family that are going through changes that seem difficult at the time. But I know that there's positive coming. Um, and I think that that's what we're called to do is stay in a place of, of positive vibration, that knowing that the desires of your heart, they are fulfilled. And maybe you have to walk through or walk away from something that needs to change a little bit in order to accept it back in your life. And for instance, my daughter and her um, husband are gonna move back to Arizona. They lived in Idaho for a while. They loved it there, it was so fun. Oh my gosh, they had so much adventure and fun. They had just had a baby. So now thinking of the highest good for their baby is to be around family. And so those are hard decisions in life. And, and me personally, I've had to make some of those hard decisions as well. And so when we do walk through the darkness or we walk through something that's difficult, I always feel like God will present something amazing down the road and if you stay in a high vibration and you stay in love and you stay in faith that you're being guided then it's almost like you release that fear and you allow the goodness to come in a lot of my clients i um my heart goes out to the pain that they're in whether it's physical pain emotional pain or even just needing spiritual guidance and they're feeling lost I know how that feels. I mean, we all know how that feels to be in a place where you feel lost or you feel that this pain or this tragic situation that you're going through doesn't have an ending to it or it feels like it doesn't have an ending to it. And I really think that so often it is our change of perspective too, that if we change the way we look at something, something changes. And so for instance, I have a young client who is going through a really serious illness for a young person to be going through this breaks my heart. And I really wish I could take that away from this person. And I really wish that this illness would go away. But then I come back to what is the highest good for this 
individual and the highest good of those around this person? I don't know. And so maybe God has something that he's orchestrating through this illness that this young person has that is changing the whole family. And, and to be honest, I've been working with this family for a while and I've seen amazing changes in the entire family. I've seen the whole family shift their perspective on life. I've seen them give gratitude for what they cannot control. I've seen them come together and to rally together. And I think, my gosh, you would never want suffering to bring this beautiful change, but sometimes we, you know, we go through something difficult in order to become that butterfly. You know, we're the, we're the caterpillar changing into a butterfly. And sometimes that change is difficult, and, but you never know what's on the other side. So when I get too worried about someone else or thinking that I wish this illness would go away from someone or I wish I could take away this pain from someone or I wish I didn't have to go through this or I wish I didn't have to let go of this or that, I have to trust that in order to become the butterfly, all of us need to go through change of actually walking into trusting that God has us right where he wants us. And it might not look like it at the moment, but it is divine timing and it is a higher perspective. I always talk about that eagle's approach. I always talk about looking down and seeing the bigger picture and knowing that things are moving that sometimes we cannot see. And so back off if you're going through anything difficult, look at it from an eagle's perspective, give gratitude for what you have been given give um, thanks for what you're going through, even if you don't understand it. Remember that gratitude and that thanks and that love that you feel in your heart and you truly feel it and you send that out, it actually gets your heart and mind together in heart coherence. And that actually brings you into a gamma state, which is actually an elevated state where then you're actually attracting what your desires are because you're not fighting down here with fear and and anxiety and depression and all that that we go through as humans. The more that we come up into gratitude and thanks, the more we come up into love and courage to walk in the newness. Do we see that the universe, God starts to shift things and pretty soon one day you're like, I can't believe I'm here or I cannot believe that that issue that I went through actually turned into this beautiful butterfly. So when we want the easy way out, which you know, to me personally, I would always choose the easier way out. But when we sit in the place of unknowing with gratitude and love in our hearts, knowing that God has us right where we want to and every day ask for that guidance and every day ask for the highest good, the highest good of those around you. How can any of us doubt that each step we're going through is exactly where we need to be? Um, be? Thank you and have a great day.